from ABC News Radio, KMET 1490 in Southern California. This is Biz Ninja Entrepreneur Radio with your host, Tyler Jorgensen. Welcome out, everybody, to Biz Ninja Radio. This is your host, Tyler Jorgensen, coming to you from sunny Southern California. And today I have a guest who I've connected with over the years now. Um, but haven't really had a face-to-face with. So I'm really excited to connect with Jeremy McGilvery, the author of Instagram Secrets, where you can check out at freeigbook.com. Jeremy, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, man. So it's, uh, it's great to connect face-to-face in here in the wonderful world of technology. Uh, I'm really curious, you know, if you do a lot of things, but what, if someone's like, hey, what do you do, Jeremy? What's your elevator pitch answer? I'm pretty direct and to the point. I think I'm the number one Instagram expert in the world, and I can drive traffic to any offer faster than anyone on the planet. Well, that's a pretty awesome elevator pitch. And so what, what you're telling me is that Instagram is not just for posting pictures of my food and cats? Absolutely not. It's not for teenage girls, or it's not a myth that this is some application that people are playing on people are dominating right now they're driving traffic they're building an audience they're using personal recognition through word of mouth marketing on freaking steroids to literally take their business from broke to going crazy in just a matter of a few hours the power of instagram is extraordinary. I mean, I, I dedicated an entire book, 235 pages, to laying out a blueprint, a strategy, the formula to how I went from a struggling entrepreneur to literally connecting with the right Instagram influencers and exploding my business. And again, in a, in a matter of a few hours. That's, yeah. So I think that's, that's the amazing thing about social media today is how, ra- I mean, my daughter and I were at a, uh, soccer game here in LA just the other day and down in the premier suites there was a, a couple of young kids who were famous on Instagram or and uh and you know it the ability to rapidly either become celebrity or to create influence I don't think there's ever been a time like it um and so you know give us a little bit of social proof right so uh you told us that story but I think I mean you you work with some really big brands and and you've got some other stuff going on tell us a little bit of your backstory and uh and who let me tell you pretty much how I stumbled upon this yeah let's do that it was in October of 2015 I had reached out to a, a big Instagram page millionaire mentor which back then Jason had about 1.4 million followers and I I tell people I was being a chess player, not a chess piece, because when I wanted him, I, I requested the shout out. I asked him how much it cost me to shout out one of my products. And the whole point was I needed him to agree to do a Skype interview with me where he revealed how he grew his massive following. And I was going to sell that Skype interview to other people to teach them how to grow their following. That way you can learn directly from someone who's dominating. That's always the best way to do it. But when he promoted my offer, in six hours, I made more money than I did in the previous year. Wow. I was blown away by how much traffic he ran to my offer by people buying the offer right away because he had already built up that massive amount of trust, of loyalty, of credibility. And so, you know, we still did the interview. I still use the interview in certain webinars and stuff like that that I teach on Instagram right now. But that was the turning point when I realized how quickly he could drive traffic and the quality of the traffic, the, the people that were, they were purchasing from me, that's where my whole life got flipped upside down. And I went all in on this Instagram thing because I tried Facebook ads. I tried pace per click. And, you know, nothing is more frustrating than Facebook's unfair, unclear advertising strategies that some kids in Austin, Texas are looking at it and figuring out, well, no, that, that, that may not work. So they have total authority over your brand. Right. On Instagram, it's the wild west. There's no rules. You connect with an Instagram influencer. You can promote whatever you want to promote. There, there's no 20% text policy. There's no approval process. It literally is directly, and he, here's the mega difference. It's not an advertisement. It's not a sponsored post. It's a word of mouth recommendation from someone who already has credibility. Yeah, you just got to make sure to uh, hashtag ad, right? So there you go. <laughs> 
Um, now you got, you were doing that before the FTC clarified what needed to happen. And so there's been some changes in that, but I think, I think we're also in a point where, um, I don't think people are as upset about that as they used to be, right? I think people now understand that influencers are going to give word of mouth recommendations that sometimes they're going to be compensated for. Um, I don't know, maybe that's just my perspective that people are more accepting of that than they used to be. Um, I don't believe it was as big of a deal as people made it out to be. I think that it was a short term thing that some of the major publications from the Huffington yeah, yeah. Post jumped on top of and said, look what's happening. But in all honesty, it's going to be very difficult to tell an individual what they're allowed to promote and what they're not allowed to promote. Because if, if they truly love a brand, if they truly love a product, then it might not actually be an advertisement. It might be more of a word of mouth recommendation, which is how we teach people to structure their advertisements. Absolutely. So you've, you connected with, um, you know, one of the, top accounts at the time. And I think they've grown massively since then, right? I think you still do work with Millionaire Mentor. Um, well, well, Jason and I have partnered since then. We, we built a, a great relationship over the years. He has 2.5 million followers now. And we put together an entire academy that has 87 training videos where he and I teach people step by step by step exactly how to set your Instagram page up, exactly how to build your sales funnel out, we teach people that the fortune is the follow-up, so we get really deep into email marketing and about networking with other Instagram influencers. It's InstaPro Academy. You can go to instaproacademy.com, and it's currently the number one training platform in the world for teaching people not only how to grow your account, but really how to monetize the overall platform. And this is where um, information products get really interesting for me. Is uh, so you've been, you know you've been able to do it, Millionaire Mentor's been able to do it, uh, but now the question is, can it scale, right? Can other people, or can it be replicated is a better way to say it. So you're training others how to do it. Give us, you know, one or two success stories from them, you know, some people that came from, that, you know, that, that it wasn't just you going from struggling to more money in six hours than in a year, right? Who else has kind of been able to follow that pattern? You know, I really like how you talked about it. it's a pattern and to scale. There's a book called um, E-Myth by Mark Gerber, and he says, systems permit ordinary people to achieve extraordinary results predictably. You're grabbing the book. I am. I'm going to show, show <laughs> it. I'm going to give a visual plug here for the there people you watching on YouTube or on Facebook. That's um, it, guys. And recommend it? I definitely recommend it. The systems so, and processes are so important because anytime you're trading your time for money, you'll run out of time. Once your time spent, it's gone forever. That's just the way it works. It, it, you can't get more time once right. it's, it's replenished. And so we've had, gosh, an extraordinary amount of students that have went into this academy. They've learned how to drive traffic by leveraging Instagram influencers. They've built massive email lists because literally, and this is what's really important to get your mind around. You can go to a page with 500,000 followers, with 800,000 followers, and have them drive traffic to, to your sales funnel, to your landing page, for 50 bucks, for $60. That's it. It's not hundreds of dollars. It's not thousands of dollars. Instagram influencers right now are so underpaid, it's ridiculous. You know, I run two pages. My personal page, Jeremy McGilver with 135,000 followers. My business page, Elevate Your Mindset, with 210,000 followers. And the amount of people that realize how quick I can drive traffic on those pages with my community is so slim. I've went to some of the biggest internet marketing conferences out there from traffic and conversions from, you know, Russell Brunson's ClickFunnels. And when I tell people that for, for 50 bucks, I can collect 250 targeted emails, they look at me like, that's real difficult to believe and they don't really gather. But Jason yeah. Stelton, millionaire mentor, he, he picked up over 400,000 emails in 19 months. I don't believe that's ever been done in the history of internet marketing before. Well, especially they're not like farmed, they're not scrubbed, right? You're not getting these through a bot. These are targeted. These are people interested in the type of brand he's created, right? So he, that's a huge factor is if you're building like what he's done with very, very much built on a success mindset then that's a specific type of consumer. So it should, have, it should conduct a premium 
to people wanting to do something that's sponsored, but you're saying it's just so unknown that you can still basically get in undervalued and, and work with people and influencers. It is. It's massively undervalued. And these influencers, they're going to raise their price once more people start catching on and realize how fast you can drive traffic. Once they realize that you can go directly to paid offers because it's not cold traffic. It's not an ad. It's a bridge is built. It's warm traffic because it's a recommendation to an offer that the person already has a ton of credibility built up for. So it's just a massive opportunity. I'm, I'm baffled to how more people haven't got their mind around it. I think the tough thing for a lot of people is they still feel like it's unknown and it's un, there's, it's hard for them to track. It isn't hard for them to track, but they think it's hard for them to track sure. what they're going to get out of it. Where, you know, Facebook has a dashboard and they can, you know, see what's happening. Even if it's less effective, they like to be able to see it. One thing yeah. I like about your page, I like that you, uh, you alternate dark and light pictures. Sure. We do that on both of our pages. Yeah. Um, it's it's, stand out and be a little bit different. And if you look at both of my business page and my personal page, we hardly ever do advertisements, if any at all, on our page. I recently did when I released my book a couple days ago. But really, it's about giving value and keeping those followers attached to our content. And then we use other people's ads, or as we say, OPF, other people's followers, that's where we run our traffic to. That's where we, we use them to just really advertise like crazy on their pages. So that way we don't wear our own people out. Every now and then. So, yeah, that. but eventually like that, that w dynamic relationship, that, that seems like it isn't going to last forever, right? So if you're saying, okay, you've got to keep your list or your followers kind of clean and healthy, but then you go to other people's, well, eventually that means that their list and their followers would become unhealthy. Or am I misunderstanding that? No, you're right. And I believe that could be the case, but I'm more worried about my community, and <laughs> my community. And if they're going to let me use their followers that they've worked to build over the years to advertise my products and send them to my page or the, the big thing for me and our business and our company, we're not here to get rich fast. We're here to get rich forever. We're in this for the long term. We understand and I teach people all day long, anything in your life that ever comes easy and fast will leave you the exact same way. And so it really is a, a long play. I think that Instagram is more, I guess, just towards the human being. We like pictures. We don't like the rants on Facebook. And we want to engage with content that resonates with us Nobody likes constantly being advertised to. There's several pages out right now that they advertise all day, every day. And then if you check their, their statistics, they're dwindling in followers. And so it, it is a little bit of a happy medium between providing valuable content and connecting with your community. Right. But also you've got to figure out a way to make a living because the amount of time you have to put into these pages is extraordinary. I mean, it cultivating that community is a 24 hour a day job, seven days a week. You don't get days off. So, you know, and this is the crux of anything, right? Is that in one way, in one breath, we say Instagram has, uh, is a, it's a great tool. It, it's, it's simple in the fact that it's, uh, there's not as many, you know, variables, uh, but it's not, that doesn't mean that it's like an autopilot easy thing. You've still got to re or hard, you know, sow a lot of seeds and properly manage it. Right. I believe yes and no. Here's the issue I have with a lot of people out there right now that are super excited about Instagram. Maybe they jump on one of my webinars and they get all pumped up about the massive opportunities about driving traffic. And so they go to their own Instagram page and they spend all this time making amazing images, finding the right hashtags, adding the right caption inside of there, and then they burn out in three or four or five months if they make it even that long because they bought into the myth that if they threw some hashtags, if they posted some high quality content, magically the Instagram gods would send them tons of followers and it doesn't work that way. You've gotta really be networking with other pages to do shout outs for shout outs or go into these big pages and pay them 30 or 40 bucks and getting them to send their followers to your account. But the magic of Instagram right now is it's not about your account. You don't even need an Instagram account to have extremely massive success on this platform. You just go to someone that's in your niche, say it's fitness. There's so many fitness people out there that's built up a page of millions of followers and you connect with them generally through the free app called kick or you send them an email. And it's super simple. Love your page. How much are your promotions? 
you go get a super simple ebook. You can get a private label rights ebook at master-resellrights.com and then send them to something of a valuable content. And so you go pay this fitness page that has a million followers. Let's say they charge $200 for a shout out, which is probably not that much, but we'll, we'll say sure. hi. Sure. So out of 200 bucks, you're going to get probably four to 500 email opt-ins on that ebook. Now, once they get that free ebook, the fortunes and the follow-up, you follow up with your autoresponder and you sell them your course, you sell them a coaching call, you sell them a product, and then you rinse and repeat that process. So now instead of $200, let's spend $2,000. Let's keep advertising. And now we're going to get, what, 5,000 email addresses. You can build a list so quickly, it's mind-blowing. So, and I think you just identified something that I think is really important for everyone who's thinking about using Instagram in their business needs to address. Are you, do you want to use it for traffic or do you want to be the traffic source, right? Do you want to be the brand? And, and both can be okay, but I think it's, a, it's important to remember that those are two separate pieces. You're exactly right. The thing that I want to really impose on people is if you start a brand new account and you're trying to grow your account and all you're doing is posting images and hashtags, the, the issue is you're not getting any wins. You're just putting work in and if you don't get some small wins, some type of average, and again, I'm telling you that pages with 500,000 followers charge 40 bucks, 50 bucks for shout outs. And so do you think you're going to be able to build a page to 20,000 followers in six months? You might get $5 or $10 for a shout out. The prices just aren't there yet. They'll get there, but they're not there yet. And so if you don't connect with other influencers and, and learn how to generate revenue in the first couple of months, Right. I'm afraid people are getting burned out and they're quitting because they're not getting any rewards. That makes sense. And I think that's really important. I think uh, you've got to have those small wins along the way as an entrepreneur, especially if it's an, if this is a new venture for someone or if it's their first dabbling in entrepreneurship, you've got to get the, the token wins along the way. Right. There's sure. uh, those, those whole stories about like, you know, how overnight successes take 20 years. That's right. Um, stuff like that. So what, um, you know, you, you've covered a lot with like people just getting started and like kind of resetting their expectations a little bit. Um, but what would you say is like another one of the myths that just needs to be dispelled about working with Instagram? I think that people don't realize how super simple it is. I mean, again, on Facebook, you have to go through their compliance network and get your ads approved, and then there are certain things you can and can't do. When it comes to Instagram, you literally need a link in the bio that's the only place, that's the gateway, that's where you go to the, a sales page or to a, an email opt-in or whatever it will be, so you need a link, and the link needs to be very clean. It can't be a link that has all these letters and numbers and it's very long. You can go to Bitly, which is very inexpensive, and you can capitalize certain letters, which will change the links up. I just learned that from an Instagram influencer not too long ago. But it just needs to be a very clean link that you're sending people to so it, so it doesn't look all spammy. And so it's super simple to get a clean link. It's super simple to make an image, which is 800 by 800 pixels. And all the image has to do is, let's say you have bracelets. Put a bracelet, show a bracelet on a human being because humans sell a lot better than it just sitting on a table and then put free shipping because everyone likes a free offer or a free bonus, you know, whatever it might be. And then have the Instagram influencer say, this bracelet's amazing, you will love it. Today only, scarcity is important. They're going to ship it to you for free. Take action now, also follow this account. And so you can build your account and grow in followers. You can make money, you can collect email addresses. And it really is just, it's that simple. A link, an image, and a, a caption that that's it and then so then they're typically leaving that up for uh the image may stay up or may or may not stay up depending on the agreement but the link's usually only up either for a number of hours or a day or less right it's really good question this is something brand new that we started maybe three or four months ago most shout outs a lot of them will run and it, if, if it's a product shout out which they're sending someone to a webinar send them to an ebook send them to a product most of them will be up for 24 hours. The influencer will post it on their page, put the link in the bio, put the caption, and then they'll delete it after 24 hours. Some of them may leave it up, but most of the time it's, they're deleting it. What we do though is we negotiate the prices down even more. And so let's say that that fitness page at a million followers was going to charge you 200 bucks 
for a, a 24 hour shout out? Well, I would first ask them, what can we just do a six hour shout out? Could we reduce the price a little bit there? And they might come down to a hundred bucks for a six hour shout out. Now the way the algorithm's currently working, you're going to get 50% of your engagement, 50% of the eyeballs in that first hour. After that, it really tapers off substantially per hour. It, it goes down. And so here's kind of something brand new that we're doing that is giving us crazy engagement and really maximizing our spend. We'll buy some, we'll buy it. We'll have them post our promotion for three hours, delete it 30 minutes later, post it again. And so what they're doing is it's going right back over in the news feed again. And our engagement sometimes is over 650% more just by being that double, that double posting. And so now you've got the rate at $100, take them back to $200. Okay, I'll give you 200, but you're getting two shout outs for really the price of one. Fascinating. That's, that was, that's pretty clever, kind of a, a hack of the Instagram algorithm. Sure. Um, that's cool. And so you addressed another thing that I think is really interesting. So you said, um, you know, if you're doing it, you know, you can have them just do a shout out for shout out, which, you know, that's just kind of there to build your followers. But really you said, if you're doing it to, for a product, which is either an ebook or a webinar or a pro physical product, um, you know, I, I'm from the world of physical products, right? I've shipped a lot of physical products and mo so much of internet marketing is information products. And I think they're great. I'm not an anti-information guy, but, um, I've noticed that, it, I mean, there's obviously a bigger barrier to entry and a little bit bigger hurdle when you got to figure out more logistics. If it's not just an ebook download. Um, so what kind of success are you guys seeing with physical products? I mean, give me maybe a success story or an example. We personally don't do a lot with physical products. We have several students that have done amazing with physical products. They, their main strategy has always been focusing on a free gift or focusing on the benefits of what the products are going to be. And then starting out with a very low level physical product, it might just be a, you know, of course, free plus shipping offers were really strong, right? But they wanted to start off and this was out of our recommendations. And I say in my book and in my academy, we don't specialize really in physical products. We do information products, but a lot of the strategies still work. And if you'll go find other companies that are having massive success on Instagram with physical products and model the structure that they're already you know, they found that works. That's where I think other people will have success too. So I would recommend people start out on, on a physical product that's a low dollar level and then get that email address and upsell them or get them to a continuity or a membership to where it's right. more products that will continue to add benefits or, you know, just add results to their lives. Yeah. We, you and I met because of click funnels. We understand the, the idea of taking someone from a, you know, a free offer to a, you know, low price offer and then working them up either into higher price offers or uh, continuity and things like that. And so, um, I think that's important, you know, even in information products, right? You often start with, you know, get the first chapter or, you know, get this amount for free, but don't, and then work, offer other options. Um, like well, you have, the biggest I think problem is, is amateurs will focus on the front end product. I just want to sell my book or I just right. want to sell my bracelet. If that's, and I talk extensively about this in the last couple of chapters of my book where I talk about turning your followers into dollars, there's got to be more to it to increase that value of a customer because the person who wins is the person who can pay the most to bring that customer into their world. And it's all about the upsells. It's about the downsells. It's about the added bonuses and products and the follow-up to, you know, continue to add value to people's lives. Yeah, absolutely. What's, uh, you know, what, give us another, you know, something that would, if someone's just still on the fence, what do they need to do? Obviously they need to go to freeigbook.com and get your book, right? That's a, that's a given, but what's something that they, you know, maybe they missed or which is, what's that first step for people? You know, I think a lot of people, because this is new, this is a new opportunity. This is a new way to do things. And a lot of people don't like doing something new. There's a quote that says people will cling to an unsatisfactory way of life rather than change in order to get something better for fear of getting something worse. And I think there's so many people hooked on this Facebook ads platform right now. And Facebook has really been difficult for us to profit on. We've ran ads, we've spent tens of thousands of dollars, but then we turned to Instagram, we connected with an Instagram influencer, we got that personal endorsement, that word of mouth, 
and then we saw how many emails we collected. We saw how quickly we could, you know, drive people directly to paid offers. And it was a game changer for us. You know, on my sales funnel, on our website for freeigbook.com, you'll find over a dozen people that are holding this book that are telling you directly the content inside of here allowed me to take my failing fitness business, my failing information product business, my high ticket business, and finally achieve success. Because there's so many people out there that have great products who have something that can help people and benefit their lives and change their lives, but yet they don't have a way to communicate it to the world. And they sure as hell can't afford to spend $6 on opt-ins on Facebook. They go broke right. quick about that. For sure. So this really changes the dynamics of advertising as a whole. I don't know how long it's going to be around to do that. Right. But I know right now that there's not another place on the planet where you can drive traffic in a couple of hours and hundreds of people that quickly. I mean, the people I work with on my book promotion, I guaranteed them thousands of copies would sell in a few hours. And they all scoffed at me thinking that I didn't know what I was talking about. I said, I'm my own best customer. I practice what I teach. I, I can get this offer in front of millions of people in a couple hours. Right. And we rose to the number one seller list within maybe 45 minutes of the first person posting. And we're still there today. Wow. The number one marketing book in the world right now is currently Instagram Secrets. The number one marketing book in the entire world. And it all is because of Instagram. You know, we build a community around this following to help people take their, their dreams that they have, their messages, and get it out to the world. And you can go on Instagram right now and search the hashtag IG Teamwork and find nearly a thousand posts of people promoting this book for free, all because it helped them and they want to help other people. They believe that if you light your candle from someone else, let someone else light their candle from you. Gotcha. That's a cool concept. And so you, I mean, that's, that's pretty big social proof, right? You've done some awesome stuff. You've got, you know, you're using, you're, you're practicing what you preach for sure. And you're, you have the book success. Um, my guess is that much like the rest of what you just taught us is that, uh, the book is not the big money maker. The book's the front end offer, right? Like it is the, the course, is that where you guys are kind of driving? Is that where that's leading to? The book's free. We, lo yeah. we lose money on the book. It's, it's right. going to cost us to give this book away. However, the way our sales funnel is structured, probably the thing I'm most proud of right now that I've put together, it's IG Mastermind, and it's the biggest named Instagram that I jumped on Skype calls with for over an hour, and I went through exactly what they were doing to grow their following exactly what their best ads were, what their worst ads were, how they were following up with their email sequences, how they were pixeling and retargeting on Facebook the right way. But there's five of the biggest names on Instagram that are making, all of them are making millions of dollars that jumped on calls with me and went through in excruciating detail exactly what they've done to grow their following. So that will be the first upsell that people will have the opportunity to buy. And it will be a metal USB car. So it's really, it'll look like a black Amex card. It's really, really awesome. Like we put cool. so much time and detail on that. And then after that, there'll be a down sell if they don't buy it for another information product. And then there'll be an academy that they'll have a chance to buy as a blatant bribe, which I learned through Frank Kern. And then we'll be following up after that to get my main academy, InstaPro Academy. And then we'll have soft, I have software as well that helps people grow their accounts on, using automation. And so it really is about all of these different steps that people will go through so we can lose money on the book all day long. Right. We'll capitalize on the back end. Awesome. And I really appreciate you being willing to kind of go through that. I think some people, they're, they're more than happy to talk about the, uh, the front side of the curtain, but they don't like sharing the back. And I think it's important for everyone to understand, like, like you said, if you're going to practice what you preach, you've got to explain what that is. Sure. Um, and you also, I know you're the kind of guy where every one of those things you pack value into. So it's not like, okay, let's put all the value in and then, and then we'll just milk it. It's like, no, if people really want more information, you've given them a great place to go get that. Sure. What, uh, so the next thing I like to kind of transition to is every, we do business so that we can live the lifestyle that we want. Right. And so, um, what is one major thing on your personal bucket list that you want to do in the next 12 months? You know, and this is probably a bad answer for an entrepreneur network, but this is the truth. I have literally put 
almost every waking hour into building this academy, to building my followings, to finishing this book, to putting this brand new USB board out and all the other upsells. I mean, we had thousands of affiliates that I would have never guessed in a million years. I've had that many people selling my products. And so I'm going to wind it down a little bit over these next 12 months. And I'm going to really just try to focus on working on my business instead of in it. I have a great team now that I've been able to recruit of people all around the world that are constantly on support and making certain that we realize without our customers, we have nothing. And right. so I've got a 13 month old little boy. We're going to spend more time at the park. We're going to spend more time at the pool and we're just going to hang out and I'm going to check things on my cell phone. And you know, this laptop lifestyle is great, but if you don't work your ass off at the beginning and realize that, all the roadblocks that you're going to come across are never there to keep you out. They're there to see how bad you want it. Yeah. And the problem I see why people are quitting is they don't have enough reasons and you've got to get those reasons. My little boy and taking care of my family is my reason. I don't care about the Bentleys and the, the houses on the beach. I just want to make certain that if anything were to happen to my family, I could deploy every resource possible to take care of them. Absolutely. And we've built this following. We've built this mass movement. We've created a new opportunity for people to finally have success online with their products. And so now over the next 12 months, I'm really just going to, you know, oversee everything and make certain that we continue to need it and make it better. I'll still jump on webinars and teach people, you know, and I'll still do my live feeds. But right now, really, it's about enjoying all the hard work and effort that I put 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 forth over the last two years, to be honest with you. Yeah. And now just managing yeah. it. I don't think that's a bad answer at all. I think that is the right answer. I think too many times um, people think it's, it's, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, all hustle, no relax and no enjoyment, right? You've got to find that balance. I, I'm a big fan of Tim Ferriss's concept of mini retirements. You know, mm -hmm. I think once you become an entrepreneur, I don't think you ever really envision yourself just not doing something, not creating something, but being able to take moments to really just focus on family and focus on those other things and, uh, and just cherish the success you've built is really important. Uh, so I think that's awesome. But Jeremy, I want to pre, you know, just express my appreciation to you for coming on the show. Um, again, people please follow Jeremy McGilvery on his Instagram accounts as well and, uh, learn more about him at freeigbook.com. Um, I think if no matter what level of business you're at, it is uh, going to be really important for you to just learn about this wonderful tool of Instagram. And uh, you can still go around on your personal page, liking pictures of cats. Uh, but in the meantime, let's also use it to make some money and to build, build a, build a tribe. So thanks again, Jeremy. Uh, thanks for coming out. Now everybody go out and do something. Thank you for listening to Biz Ninja Entrepreneur Radio with Tyler Jorgensen. Please make sure to subscribe so you're first to hear new interviews and episodes. If you found this podcast to be valuable, please share it with a friend. Don't forget to visit our online dojo at bizninja.com to claim your reward for listening to the show.